Hello, welcome to Shop Talk. We're going to get this Poulan Pro 655 chainsaw. This was made in 1988. This is that uh, professional model, six cubic inch. Power head weighs 18.3 pounds. Cable running up to a 50 inch bar. Very common around here. These uh, these were very powerful, very lightweight saws. The cutters just loved them. This one features a Husqvarna 24 inch bar and chain. That's a brand new bar and a brand new skip tooth chain. Chisel bit. And that is a sprocket nose. And if you ever need to get one of these bars, uh, you can take a Husqvarna bar. If you got one of these big Pioneers, P42, 455, 655s, P62s, P51s. If you ever need to uh, try to find a bar, of course they're no longer made, you can take a Husqvarna mount bar and uh, with a little bit of milling, you can put that right on your Pioneer. And that's what we did on this one. Yeah, it worked out real nice. Show you the features here. Kill switch is real easy to get at, right here. It's got the choke on the right side. It's got the operator presence a lever. And that just keeps that trigger from throttling up. If you're not in uh, operating this saw, if you set it down and it's idling, throwing limbs around, that keeps a limb from tripping that trigger. It's got a decompression valve right there. And you do need to use it. This is a very high compression engine. And you pull it out. High compression. I mean, uh, you do need to use that compression release. Got the throttle lock right here. Squeeze the trigger, trip that in, and that keeps that out at high idle so you can start this saw. Chain brake's weak. It works, but it's weak. You may need to replace that band, so keep that in mind when you're bidding on this. That brake band, uh, you'll have to pick one up. You can usually get them on eBay, real reasonable, but the band is a little weak. It does work, but uh, should be replaced. A very large falling spike and that ever popular wrap handlebar that everybody just loves. Tensioner is uh, loosen two bar nuts up and right on the side right in that area right there right in the center of the picture there is a screw for adjusting the tension on that barn chain. Nice clean saw. It does have the automatic oiler and manual override. There's a manual pump right here, plus it has a fully adjustable automatic oiler in here. It's got that big large muffler. Right there. It is rubber mounted for uh, less vibrations. We'll go outside and make a cut with this and you'll see why this was a really professional, well sought after saw. A very powerful saw.